Okay, so fat bikes are becoming all the craze at the moment, and uh, like many of you, I've decided to splash out and purchase one, and I've gone for the On One Fatty. On One is a British uh, bike maker, famous for the 456 hardtail, which I've also owned. So I decided to go for the On One Fatty because it has a more aggressive geometry, so I can use it not just as a snow bike or a sand bike, but an everyday trail bike. So if you do decide to order your On One, this is what you get. You get the two packages. This is the, the main bulk of the bike, uh, the frame fork, brakes, gears, and whatnot. And in this box here, the second package, is the front wheel. Now if you've not seen a fat bike before, you're gonna be pretty surprised when you actually get to look at the size of the wheel. So I'm gonna bring that out to you. So this is the fatty wheel, the On One fatty wheel. Now I've gone for the 26 inch version of the On One fatty. They do do a fun fatty, which is a 24 inch wheel, bike as well, which I was contemplating, but I decided to go for the full-size bike. So what we've got here, we've got a 26 inch wheel, uh, which is the same size as your standard mountain bike wheel, but mounted to that, we've got this four inch wide tire. So it's a really humongous tire, it's a huge tire, it's about the same size as a, a motorbike tire almost. And you know, with the wheel and the tire, you're looking at around a 30 inch wheel, which is a, a little bit bigger than a 29er uh, mountain bike. So that's pretty impressive stuff. Um, <clears throat> this is a V-rubber tyre. Um, I went for the uh, special edition On One Fatty, which cost £799, and that came with the option of having bright pink, green, blue, or black tyres. So I went for the, the standard boring black tyre, but it looks really good. It's a nice soft feeling tyre. I think it would be quite grippy in all, most conditions, except maybe really rooty, rocky, wet conditions. This is a quick release. Uh, it hasn't got the skewer on there now. Uh, I assume it's a 9mm quick release front wheel, and it's also got an Avid disc on there as well. Okay, let's pop that to one side and let's see what else is in this packaging. So this is the main box. You can see it's a really big box, very thick, very, very big box. <coughs> DHL were not very impressed that they had to come back three times to try and deliver it to me, and in the end I had to go and pick it up myself. But anyway, here it is. Okay. So I open this up, it's a really sub substantial box, so if you are ordering this and you're a little bit concerned about the bike getting damaged in transport, don't worry because this is a really good quality box that I want to put the bike in. Alright, so if I just try and pull this out, another wheel, we've got the rear wheel here, again a V-rubber tyre on there, 4 inch, got this massive rear hub on there, it's an On One branded hub, and this is a 10 speed cassette on there. So we've got a, a 2x10 setup on here I think. What else do we have in here? We've got an On One branded seat post with an On One seat as well. Actually feels quite light, it's surprisingly light. And a quite a soft feel to this saddle. And I think it's going to be quite a comfortable little saddle lap. Uh, the seat post on this is a, what is it? How long is that? I think it's a 400 mm I'll have to double check that. Uh, I might need a longer one because I did go for the 16 inch on one fatty because I wanted to throw it around a little bit, play around with it on the BMX track. We get a bike build certificate there from Planet X in Sheffield. So that's who built my bike. Oops, let's pop that to one side. Dale built my bike, the likes of it. I've got my build sheet, tells you all the bits and bobs that came on my bike, all the choices that I made. So I went for the black tyres instead of the bright coloured tyres. I went for black grips and a black seat as well. Um, what else do we got in here? Looks like I've got a spur, I don't know, this is for the seat post. Um, the seat post uh, quick release has dropped off so I'll have to fix that in a moment. And that's about it, except obviously the bike itself. So, we just pull that out. Let's put that there. Alright, and I just have a look around in here for anything else. I also ordered a set of pedals. The On One Fatty doesn't come with pedals as standard. And I grabbed a pair of uh, El Guapo, which are uh, On One's own brand pedals. I got these half price during the Christmas sale, so that was quite a bargain. I'll show you those in another video. Here's the rest of my seat post collar, which is probably just rattled loose in the box during transport. And that's about it, that's all. 
Okay, so here it is. This is the on one fatty all packaged up. You can see it's got lots of uh, polystyrene on here and tape. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this box out of the way and I'll start taking this off. Um, first impressions when taking out the box without the wheels on, it's actually really light. Um, I mean, it's not super light, but it's a lot lighter than you would expect for such a bulky bike. Let's pull that to one side. Unfortunately, I don't have a bike stand with me at the moment, so you have to bear with me while I try and unpackage it while resting it on its fork. It's not the most ideal situation, but we'll see what we can do. All right, pop that there. So rest it against the wall. Bring my scissors in. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, well you can't see just yet, but you will see, it's a rigid fork on this, it's an all aluminium frame, uh, it's a steel fork on there, so the steel fork should hopefully absorb a little trail chatter as you're riding along. So you're looking at a fully rigid bike floating along on four inch tires. So, for me personally, I've not ridden a hardtail or a rigid bike you know, properly for a long, long time. I'm going from a nuke proof mega with, you know, five five, six inches of travel, front and rear, to a fully rigid bike with big squishy tyres. So it's going to be an interesting transition, but I'm sure it's going to be a really good, fun one. So if I just undo this, we got our quick pulley here, take the top, we got obviously this rear quick pulley uh, spindle, it's absolutely massive, it's huge obviously to go through that rear hub. And we've got the front of these here too. Again, pretty massive again. Probably, probably around the same size as a standard rear wheel quick release, but obviously that's for the front wheel. You need to have that huge hub to accommodate those big tires. All right, and pull some more of this up. Let's chop away these. Let's undo this. So, on one, I've done a really good job of packaging this up to ensure it doesn't get damaged during transportation. Bear with me while I cut this away. In fact, it might have done a little bit of too good a job. I think get in there, careful of the paint. There we go. Okay, so we're going to have a good look at the bike now as we undo it. You can see we've got a white finish, white powder coated finish with bright orange on one stickers. I'm not sure how it looks on video just at the moment, but it's really, really bright. Very, very nice pure white color. Really bright orange stickers <clears throat> with a lacquer over the top, so you don't need to worry about them peeling off. And the Fatty has this really interesting dual top tube design. You got two very thin top tubes, which uh, I'm not entirely sure why they've chosen this design, but it's very unique. It's a nice looking design, and it means you've got a single tube running from the very top of the head, the head tube all the way down to the rear wheel. It's a nice, simple design. I imagine it's quite easy for the manufacturing process. And again, it looks really cool too. All right, what else have we got? Let's uh, take these covers off the fork. Fork. You can see it's very thin steel uh, tubing on either side. It's a very traditional style fork uh, design, it's like a wishbone style. <clears throat> so a lot of old steel, uh, sorry, a lot of old steel frames had this design, and it, it's meant to transfer shock a little bit better. So, but we'll see how that actually is when we're out on the trail.
Okay, so once the rear is out, you can see again, we've got this massive area here for the rear wheel to go in. We've got a SRAM X5 rear derailleur. We've got Avid hydraulic disc brakes. We've also got a SRAM X5 uh, crank with an external cup bottom bracket there. 2x10, you've got a front neck on there, so 10 speed on the back, so 20 gears all together. Should be enough to get you up and down the hills. <coughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it as a 2x10, I'll probably convert it to a 1x10 eventually. Up front, we've got this really nice looking on one stem. We've got an on one, uh, sorry, 1.5 headset in there too. So, sorry, it's a token headset in there. Really great looking headset. Considering this only costs 800 pounds, it's a really stunning uh, bike component wise. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to fast forward a little bit. I'm going to put the wheels on, I'm going to put the handlebars on, and I'll let you look at it once it's all finished. So there it is, the on one fatty, all built up. Not quite ready to ride just yet. So we can go over a few of the parts that we've got on here. So as already mentioned, we've got SRAM X5 rear derailleur, 10 speed cassette on the rear there. SRAM X5 crank, SRAM X5 front derailleur too. Uh, so it's a two by 10 setup, got two chain rings on the front here, 10 on the back there. So 20 gears in total. That's going to be plenty to slug this up and down hill. There's quite a large seat post on there. Now this is a 16 inch frame. Now, normally if I was following measurements, I would go for like a 17 or an 18, but I like a small frame to throw around a little bit. So usually with on one, in the past I've gone for a 16 and it's worked quite well. So with, a, with the standard seat post, you can see it's pretty high there. I might be able to just get away with that. If not, I'm planning to get a a dropper post for it anyway, so it's not going to really hinder me too much or for too long. Up front we've got an El Guapo handlebar, it's a, an on, one, uh, it's own, on one's own uh, brand handlebar there. It's a really wide bar, flat bar. Personally for me, I always have flat bars on my bikes, I like a low front end. Uh, we'll see how that is on the, uh, on the fatty without suspension forks. Got quite a lot of spaces under here, about an inch worth. So I'm probably going to drop those down a little bit, maybe set it in the middle of what I've got there, of the adjustment that I've got. Uh, on this version of the bike, like I've already mentioned, it's a special edition version, which means basically it was cheaper than the regular thousand pound version of the bike. So I had the option of running uh, different color tires, so I went for black tires, black grips, and black seat. If you do choose the special edition one, if it's still available, you'll need to go into the uh, customize options there, otherwise you'll end up with a white seat, white grips and pink tires as standard. And although that's pretty cool, I thought black maybe is a bit more subtle for riding around town. What else have we got on here? We've got the uh, we've got Avid, uh, Avid DB3 hydraulic disc brakes front and rear. Um, <clears throat> I've only, now, when it comes to disc brakes, I'm a Shimano fan. I love Shimano disc brakes. And, my uh, experience with Avid hasn't been all that great, um, but we'll see. I mean, this is not a, like a downhill bike. It shouldn't be getting too hot or anything. For trail riding, Trail riding, these uh, brakes should be up to the job. If not, I could always stick a pair of uh, Shimano brakes on there. What else have we got? That's about it, really. Um, as it is, it's a really clean looking bike. It's got a, like a white pearlescent finish. There is a bit of glitter in that paint. It looks really, really smart. It's got a huge amount of standover on there, if I can, right, maybe I can just get on here. You can see I've got plenty of standover height. I can think that seat is well, in, well high enough for me. Obviously I need to adjust the handlebars and the stem to get it how I really want it. But as you can see, although it's a, a big chunky monster truck of a bike, it looks like something you could really chuck about and have a good time on, regardless of the conditions, snow, sand, hard pack, uh, mud, maybe not with these tyres, but still, it's going to be a really, really fun bike to get out there and have a blast around on. Uh, what else? The only thing I can put on here at the moment are the pedals. 
Um, as already mentioned again, there are no pedals with this build. You have to buy pedals separately, and I went for the El Guapo pedals, and we'll have a look at those in another video uh, coming up. So that's it for now. That's the uh, unboxing and quick build of the On One Fatty. I'll be doing a few, a full review, full uh, setup, ride review, first impressions. I'll get it dirty and I'll do a, so I'll do a full write up. So keep your eyes out for that. If you have any questions, please let me know. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for your time. Goodbye.